Okay, in this video, I'm going to do an overview of the main six traits of writing. Uh, let me make a note right here. One of the traits that is not included, the final trait, is when they talk about six plus one traits of writing. The plus one means presentation. So presentation is all about how the paper itself looks when you turn it in. Um, you know, sometimes a speech would be that way too, I guess, the presentation. But, um, you know, if your paper has a bunch of extra staple marks in it, or it's been ripped, or it's folded, okay, that, that, that's going to take away from the grade. So that's why it's the plus one. It doesn't affect the writing itself, but it does matter when you're trying to get a grade. That's why they added it as a plus one, not as just the seventh trait. So uh, it's a little confusing, I know, but this is how this works. Okay, so I'm going to do a basic overview of the main six traits of writing. Uh, this just includes the title of the trait or the, the name we use for it, and then a small definition for it. For more detail, you want to go to each of the little videos that I made uh, about each trait. Okay, there's maybe a four or five minute video for each trait that goes into much more detail about that trait in particular. But this one's an overview for those who maybe are unfamiliar with it or you just need a reminder of the six traits. First one, ideas and content. Oh, and by the way, uh, all this information is either directly taken from or paraphrased from uh, the 6 plus 1 condensed 5.3 through 12 writer's rubric. They call it the one pager because this title is very long, cumbersome. Okay, it's copyrighted in 2010 by uh, an organization called Education Northwest and they kind of come up with a lot of the six trait stuff. Okay, this is the way that we judge papers, by the way. This is how we grade your papers. Ideas and content. Definition of ideas and content. The main message of the piece. The theme with supporting details that enrich and develop that theme. So ideas and content is what you would think it would be. It's what the paper is about. The information that's included in it. Making sure that you meet that requirement, whatever that may be on that assignment. Uh, so that's what the ideas and content is discussing. Second one, organization. Okay, see the rocks? They're all organized, so they stand together. So organization definition is the internal structure, like the skeleton, of the thread uh, of central meaning, the logical and often intriguing pattern or sequence of the ideas in a paper. It's the way the paper is put together. It's the way it's ordered. You know, it needs to be logical, needs to make sense, needs to enhance the understanding and, and keep the reader attentive. It's like the skeleton to the body of your paper. Okay. Thirdly is voice. You know, voice, you know, this is a little image here of voice. Voice is the individuality of the paper. It's the unique perspective of the writer that's evident in the piece through the use of compelling ideas, engaging language, and revealing details. Okay, uh, often most important in this is uh, the use of engaging language. It's the way that you tell it. You know, that's what makes it individual because it's not everybody else's paper, it's just yours. So that's the definition for voice. Next will be sentence fluency, and I have ice skaters on there to kind of illustrate the idea that a sentence or a, an essay should flow freely like, a, like skaters over ice. Okay. The rhythm and flow of the language, the sound of word patterns, the way in which the writing plays to the ear, not just to the eye. Okay, you want to assume that almost all reading, uh, or all writing that you do, can be read aloud, and it will sound good. You know, it needs to flow and sound nice and, and pure and, and not distracting from the content. The fluency is, is really about how musical your language is. Then you have word choice. Okay? Uh, the difference between the right word and the wrong word is the difference between lightning and a lightning bug. It's an old Mark Twain idea. I paraphrased it. I don't know the exact wordage. But it's something like that. Um, so that's why I have the lightning and the lightning bug. Okay, so word choice. The use of rich, colorful, and precise language that moves and enlightens the reader. So rich, colorful, precise. Those are the three things that you're looking for. Rich, colorful, and precise. It's got to be accurate first, but then it can be you know, colorful and interesting, and you get to use words that maybe you don't get to use all the time. Okay. And then finally, conventions. Okay, let's move this. Hopefully this okay. Conventions. Uh, most, 
most papers, you know, will lose a point or two maybe just on conventions. Okay, and conventions are the final thing that you do in your essay. They're the final thing you look for. And they are the mechanical correctness of the piece. The spelling, the punctuation, capitalization, and grammar usage. So it's all of the details, really, at the end. And you want to grade that at the end of the paper, you know, at the end of the writing process. You check that and make sure all your spelling is complete. It's pretty self-evident. I mean, it's, it's the stuff that's easy to find. And then a lot of kids will try and uh, grade first when they're doing revisions because it's the easiest to, to find mistakes like this. But really, you shouldn't do this until the final draft or, you know, or right before the final draft is when you look for these kind of issues. Um, make sure that all your spelling is correct, your punctuation, grammar, stuff like that. Okay, now please, for uh, more information about the six traits, please go and check out the other little videos I made, one for each trait. Uh, look those over, and you'll get a lot more information that's specific for those traits. And again, uh, there's a lot of information all over the internet and all over the world for these six traits. It's kind of widely used now, and everybody, everybody uh, relies on it pretty heavily. So uh, these will be the ways that I will judge your writing, and your other writing teachers will, will judge your writing as you turn it in for assignments. All right? Thank you.